Hi guys, I just finished another round of uh, feeding the birds. I usually do that in winter, feed feed the birds. I did a video on that uh, yesterday. You can find it under paramix.org. Uh, a lot of people I know, they think, they say, you know, why the hell are you feeding the birds? I mean, you know, you're sinking your money in the snow, you know? They're like white animals, they can fend for themselves. Well, I'd like to support them, support the birds, especially in such hard conditions. But there's another reason to it, and that is, you know, doing that, gives me a lot of good ideas. My best ideas come doing such activities like feeding the birds or uh, cleaning cleaning up my office or you know washing the car. Uh, I find sitting at a desk is not conducive to good ideas. In fact for me the desk is just like a factory. You sit there you implement your stuff and then you go home. If you want some good ideas, you gotta go out of the office. Now look at this here. This is a very stark contrast to a typical office. You have no net connection. You have extreme cold. You have the elements. In an office, you're sheltered. You're connected. You have coffee. You get food. Here, you have nothing. You gotta find everything on your own. And I think this stark contrast is what gives you those great ideas. And that's why I like, or if, you, if you're cleaning your, your, your office or your home, that's another stark contrast to your typical activity of sitting down and, and, and sitting in front of the computer. You know, there with cleaning or with washing your car, you're moving, you're, you know, it's physically uh, active uh, work. So it's, it's quite different than, than, um, <clears throat> than office work. And I think this contrast, the more you have, the more contrast you have to your office work, the more creative you get, you know? Obviously, you think about a problem in your office, but don't expect a solution there. Then go out, do something to totally different, like in my case, like feeding birds in winter, and you'll see, the ideas will just come flowing. That's why I always keep, a, I used to keep a notebook, I write out my ideas or, or, or stuff that uh, I thought, okay, now, all right, I got a solution to that problem. Nowadays, I use my mobile phone. I just uh, got a little note application and I just uh, type in my notes quickly. Or, or uh, I've even got a dictation application where I just dictate the stuff that I uh, found. But I think this stark contrast is very important. And that's what a lot of companies are missing. They sit, do brainstorming in offices and, you know, where, where everything is the same as in your regular office. You know, they sit down, the, the same hierarchies are there, you know, and you're even the same building and stuff like that. Now, you, how do you expect to come to, uh, to good ideas? I think the best ideas are do totally different. Do something totally different. A, an, extreme, an extreme contrast to what you usually do an extreme contrast to your usual life and then you will see ideas will flow maybe not the first time but if you do that regularly ideas will flow and you can use that time because you know when I feed birds in the winter I uh, uh, you know this activity is, 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 is not a mental activity you just don't go there put the food out and that's it and go to the next station and so mentally uh, it's not a very demanding uh, activity and there exactly there is why I get some good ideas because my brain is whirling and whirling and it gets these ideas whereas in the office my brain is always active ah, let me check that let me do that oh wait a minute there's that thing oh wait oh, there's the bug there's that call this guy email this person you know whereas here it's complete serenity and your brain can really 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 think differently in different ways laterally opposite ways you name it that's why i would suggest if you want to be creative just do something completely different you're sitting in the office all day why don't you clean up your office or clean up your home or you know i don't know go for a walk or or do some sports or uh, you know but important is here that don't do something so demanding that you can't think straight. I mean, if you like, uh, I don't know, doing some extreme sports, well, obviously you've got to concentrate on the sport so you can't come up with good ideas. No, do something like, you know, like cleaning up. It's not very demanding physically, so your brain can handle the thinking. Well, anyways, that's, that's my uh, advice on, on getting creative ideas. Well, that's what I use for myself.